In this model, we will use sensor readings from the integrated encoders to control our robot. We begin with a state flow chart with two states. In our default transition, we will define the output variable speed, which initially is zero, but in our first state, where we will be driving forward, we can set the value of the variable speed to 30. To control the transition to the second state, we will now define an input variable called int shaft, and when the tick count in our integrated encoder reaches 1800, we will transition to the second state, which will stop the robot. Using control D, we can see the symbol wizard defines our input and output variables. We will now drag an integrated encoder block onto our Simulink diagram. After we connect our signal lines, we can then deploy this model to our robot. And we'll see as the tick count reaches 1800, our robot will stop.